Last time on Rebirth, we did a ton of mining to try and get enough diamonds so that we can finally get diamond armor and diamond tools. We did a situation with some, yeah, cows. We've grew a lot of sugarcane. We made an enchanting area and we finally enchanted all of that gear that we have crafted because it is time to take back White Cliff. All right, we're gonna do one final enchant and then there's one final tool that I think I need to bring with me in order to do this. Power four, that's not bad. And infinity, that is exactly the enchantment I really wanted to get. I, you know, I think, I think we'll be okay. I wish Neil could come with me, but I think he should be down here protecting just in case. I meant to go this way. <laughs> I walked right by my house. There's one thing I need. I don't know if I have it, but this will be something to help prove a point more than really do any lasting damage. Um, I have a shield. I have my sword. I think this, uh, I think this will be enough to take them on, right? Let's go there, then there, and then finally to the last one on the right. Oh no, oh no, okay, 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 okay. We can do this. Well, everyone, we did it. We have destroyed, there, there's a visitor already. Like, was he always lurking around just waiting for this place to be cleared out? Maybe, but we did it. We have fully cleared out. Oh, oh dear, hang on a second. But we have managed to defeat all three of the Illager invaders and their captains. And I may have some trophies as well, um, some a little bit more morbid than others. And I did my best to destroy until my flint and steel broke. We can always repurpose all the wood and stuff anyway. I don't necessarily have many treasures with which to trade with you, sir. But the mushrooms might be nice or the podzol. So maybe we'll be back. There should be something happening more, but... Wait a minute. That's a sheep. I am just going to uh, really quickly. I'm sorry to say this. I just need that. Thank you. Bye. I don't have anything on me. Where'd the sheep go? I'm sorry. You were my, you were the real treasure of all of this sheep. I'll have you know. White Cliff can finally expand safely and get back the area. Are you still following me, Gary? Get back what they lost. And my sugar cane grew. Aubrey, 
I got some exciting stuff to tell you. Oh, wrong way. Excuse me. Let me close it. Let me close it. Oh, thank God. Okay. What a journey. What a journey we have been on. Now, but, but really quick. Um, I'm just so excited. Okay. <laughs> the spoils. We have <laughs> way too many banners. Um, I might just burn them, honestly. We got some crossbows, which could be okay. Um, this is the morbid part. I'm not quite sure what to do with this. Um, can I, like, put it? Oh. No, absolutely not. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got a bunch of those. Um, that happened. You know, we got some bo bottles of experience, but this, the invisibility cape, it makes us invisible when we're sneaking. Even with armor. So let's... Oh my god. That is amazing. Ignoring the shield. <laughs> but that's amazing. That is going to be super, super useful. I don't want you here. Thank you. Really quick. Wait, there's a campfire. Will it burn? Yeah. No, it will not. Can I have that back? Thank you. Okay. Well. There we go. Aubrey, I have amazing news. Well, I defeated the invaders. All three of their outposts. I would say so. I mean... I might have also burned down all the pal posts, or at least most of it. <laughs> White Cliff can expand and, and grow and take back the land that was taken. Although that sounded so much better in my head, take back the land that was taken. Anyway, I definitely think I need a nap now. <laughs> And I definitely still want to help White Cliff. I think adding some paths around and maybe even expanding the farms even more, I think it could really help. And to be honest, helping you might help me get back home.
Well, I have done it. I have completed a lot of work. Now, as you can see, uh, we have a path that leads all the way through White Cliff. It goes up here to my house. Um, it also goes down here from my house. Uh, let's go this way first. So I added in this um, s very small retaining wall. Uh, it just needed something to break up the area, like break up the path from that upper area. And to also kind of like force a direction for people to go up. So obviously it goes all the way through. It goes around the campfire. It meets back up there. We'll get to that later. Um, up here, we have a path that goes all the way over here. And then our path also goes all the way down to the farmlands, which I have obviously done a lot of, a lot more work on in terms of, you know, planting crops and such. Uh, I did add in more of the wheat because that's kind of something you need more of. I also terraformed over here and I I decided to create a little pond um, with a little bit of a waterfall. I... Hello? <laughs> I covered up... Excuse you. You're being quite rude. I covered up the bottom area um, instead of it having like that giant cavern. Because, to be honest, they didn't really need it. I didn't really need it. So, why not make a cute little pond? I also added the sugar cane over here rather than... Because, well, obviously, it was up there and we've, we've done something there. I'll talk about that in a second. Well, actually, I'll talk about it right now because apparently that's all I had to talk about there. I, I'm not sure what, what to do with this open land, but we'll figure it out. Let me just sleep really quick. So, I have decided to combine the sheep and the cows into one big pen... Because honestly, they didn't need to be separated, and uh, they could they could use a little bit of a break. Um, can I get, thank you. So there they are. They have plenty of room, plenty of grass. They're happy. They're thriving. Um, also, there are these lanterns all around uh, to make sure everything is lit up nice and properly. Um, I did a different type. I did two different types of lanterns. I did this one. Which is very medieval looking. I like it a lot. And then there's the regular ones. And uh, obviously, I have done some work over here. I have finished the uh, the path up to the shrine. In terms of what I envisioned it looking like, this isn't fully. I thought I heard footsteps. This isn't fully like what I wanted, but it's kind of what just worked with the terror like the terraforming and the land that was around it because I didn't want to take down this big hill and this mountain I wanted to build into it so that is why I kind of did this wonky wooden um like what's it called um side of stairs <laughs> I can't think of a barrister not barrister banister I guess that's the word. The steps themselves are a gradient of andesite to stone to stone bricks and then back. Um, because I wanted something that would add texture without it being like so chaotic, kind of like the path. I wanted it to be clear, dif like different than the path itself. Um, obviously, the path pattern goes up here. Let me go all the way up here. And then uh, we can look down, which is pretty cool. Um, and then this is more of what I wanted it to look like further elsewhere, but it just didn't work out that way. And this is honestly becoming my favorite part because we have the ice, we have snow, we have stone, uh, cobblestone. Uh, we go all the way up here and then through here and we land out at the shrine with our goat, which I haven't been in here in forever. It's so calming. But I do think that there is still some more work to be done. I I don't know what to do with this situation here because it is just in the mountain. I do want to move the enchanting setup somewhere. Oh, I missed a block, clearly. Oh, I also um, terraformed a little bit. I created a little bit more space here. Uh, and then I also um, drew out or like pushed back some of the land there just to create more space for a decent sized path that could stay kind of consistent throughout the whole thing. It's got, it's got room to grow. I think what I'd like to do is go and um, take care of these outposts. I think that they need to be demolished, 
But also, I think we should, oh, rain. I think what we could do is add in some housing for future residents and anyone who wants to come back to Whitecliff and return to their homes. So maybe that's what this, what was that? Maybe that's what this, my, I'm not hearing things. There is something getting hurt. It must be an Enderman, like, portaling around. Anyway, I'm gonna ignore it. I'm thinking we put a couple houses here, maybe. We could maybe squeeze one in here. We could honestly put one where the enchanting table is set up. So as you saw, I cleared out two of the three outposts. One of them, uh, Aubrey and Neil said that they wanted to work on themselves. And as you can see behind me, I moved the enchanting setup over here because it filled the space nicely. Something needed to go there. This over here is now a perfect space for an additional house, which is something that I really want to work on next. And maybe we'll figure out what the heck we're supposed to be doing now.